Okay, this video will demonstrate how to do a Pareto chart in Tableau 10. The first thing we're going to do is connect to the sample data file, which is in your um, My Tableau repository file, which on Windows will be in My Documents. On Mac, it's on Documents here. And depending upon how many previous versions of Tableau you may have had installed, there may be multiple folders. Most people are only going to have one folder. Uh, for their for their data uh, sources and we're going to use the sample superstore TDS so if you have multiple data sources uh, we're going to be using the 10.1 tableau 10.1 folder um, 10.1 en us us and then we're going to be using the sample uh, superstore data source not the Excel file the um, the tableau data source so I'm going to hit open that's going to open up a clean worksheet and what we're going to try to do is show a Pareto chart of customers versus profit. So um, we're going to show a Pareto chart that shows how much each uh, percentage of, it, of customers is, is um, adding to the profit of the company. So the first thing we're going to do is drop profit under rows because that's the quantitative component that we're interested in. And then we'll drop customer name onto column. So we could use customer ID or uh, really customer ID as well, but we'll use customer name. And then we'll sort descending and we will fit the entire view. So we see that some of our customers have quite a bit of profit uh, that we make from them, and we even lose quite a bit of money on some customers. To make a Pareto chart, we need to create a running total rather than showing the actual data here. So we're going to click on the drop down for the sum profit pill. We're going to go to quick table calculation and we're going to change it to running total. And that immediately starts to look more like a Pareto shape and we're going to change that to a line. The other thing we're going to do now just to be sh to be um, sure that it's going to work later is we're going to tell it how to calculate that that calculation. By default it calculates across the table whatever is on the x-axis. So as each change in whatever is on the x-axis it's going to calculate this. We're going to be doing some things differently. They're going to replace our x-axis with something else. So what we want to do, though, is, is compute, is to tell it to always compute using customer name, no matter what is um, actually displaying in the x-axis. So we're going to go ahead and click on customer name. Won't change anything now, um, and it'll make things easier in the future. Now, we've already got this shape. Now, we have kind of a funny shape here. Most Pareto's end at 100%. And in our case, we do want our Pareto chart to only go up to 100% instead of go up to 120% come back down. So we're going to, for this chart, filter out all of the people who we've lost money on. So we're going to take um, profit, and we're going to click on it and drag it to filters. And we're going to say we want to filter where the sum of profit is zero or higher. And now we've got a, a shape that looks more like a Pareto chart that it ends at 100% and doesn't come back down. We're actually most of the way now to creating the Pareto chart, but we still have a couple of other things we need to do. First of all, we need to deal with the axes. Pareto charts are 0 to 100% on the x and the y axis. And right now we've got absolute numbers on the y axis, and we've got the um, customer names on the, y, on the x axis. So in order to create the percentages across the bottom, what we have to do is calculate how far along this curve we are, 10% along the curve, 20% along the curve, 30% along the curve, etc. We'll do this by using a calculation. So we're going to create a new calculated field. I'm going to right click over here and choose create calculated field. I'm going to call this percent of customers. And I'm going to use the calculation index function divided by size function. And what that does is size is the total number of items on an axis or in an array, right? So the total number of items in this array that's on the x-axis. Index is my position in the array. So um, it will calculate the percentage of distance along the array that I'm on. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I have a new field here called percent of customers. Now what I want to do now is replace customer name with percent of customers. So I'll just grab percent of customers. 
I'll drag it up here and I'm going to take customer name and put it on the detail. Now some things happen here that are a little bit frustrating with Tableau because it's not quite sure what we're trying to make. I have to go back up here to the percent of customers and tell it to compute using customer name just like I did on the other one. That'll fix my graph. So now both my columns and rows are calculating across using the customer name. Um, and you'll see that we've actually got our little percentages down here. If I right click here and I edit the axis, I'm going to tell it to, um, so I used the wrong thing. If I right click here and choose to format the axis, I can change it to a percentage. We see that we have zero to a hundred percent here now. We can see here that we've got a little bit of extra space on each end of this axis. We can fix that by editing the axis. We'll change it to fixed from zero to one. And the last thing that we need to do on the axes is change this to a percentage. Now, if we change it to a percentage the same way that we did the X axis, simply by hitting format, we'll notice that the percentage is way up here because the scale is 350,000 rather than one. So we have to do something special to make this work. To make this work, I have to do what's called a secondary table calculation. Rather than adding these up as part of my running total, I really wanted to calculate the running total as a percent of total. To do that, I have to do what's called a secondary table calculation. I can go down here, I can click on the drop down for the sum of profit, I can choose edit the table calculation, and I can choose add a secondary calculation. And the first one's running total sum of cust across customer name, we know that. Now what we want is instead of adding it up, we want it to be percent of total, and we could choose customer name. We don't have to in this case. Table across works in this case. So now we have 0 to 100%, 0 to 100% along the um, x-axis. The last thing that we want to do on the Pareto chart is mark the 80-20 rule. So we can add a reference band here. Sorry, a reference line here. I'm going to choose to... Um, use a constant to add a reference line I'm going to, to add a reference line what I'll do is I will right click on the y-axis I'll choose add a reference line I want to choose a constant I want that constant to be 0.8 I want the label to be custom. I want it to say 80%. I do the same thing on the x-axis. Add a reference line, constant. I want that to be 0.2 for 20%. I'll give it a custom label of 20%. Now we can see that our line doesn't quite fit the Pareto shape as far as going through the 80-20 line, but we can see um, that we can move that. If we really want to uh, find a particular place along the line, we can always shift these lines any place we want them to be. All right? And so this is what our Pareto chart looks like in the end. There's quite a few steps, but it's actually not that hard once you understand what's going on.